Hey everybody, welcome to Grumpy Acres. We're on the other side of the homestead. Today we're talking freeze-dried candy. Yeah, I said it, freeze-dried candy. This has been like the most popular thing and it's really been a great blessing for us. Uh, we sell a lot of it, I get a lot of orders. So when a lot of people are wondering, why am I up so late? A lot of times because I'm waiting on the freeze dryer. So um, I'm just gonna kind of show you what we've been doing and um, you can see how we do it. All right. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, we've taken our, um, these are Skittles. We've taken our Skittles out of the freeze dryer. And then what I like to do is I try to go directly from the pan over to the scale and weigh them out so that I can get them in bags. And we have, we do several different sizes of bags um, depending on what we're doing. So I've got my Skittles all lined up here, put those in. Um, we're experimenting with a few different ones. I've got some sour Skittles that we're working on and then um, did some yogurt. I had a request for some yogurt bites, so got that done. Again, experimenting with more different candies. It's working out well. Um, I actually have something coming today. We are going to be able to do a lot more sour candies. I am so excited. And we are actually going to be able to cut a lot of that cost. So uh, really, really excited about that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're taking um, everything from the trays. And then because of the uh, quantity that I'm doing, excuse me, I'm just putting everything in bags for right now. I'm waiting on labels. Those will be coming today. I've got G working on those for me. And then um, I'll get everything into its perspective bags tonight. So we've been experimenting a little bit. I have um, got some new bags in finally. Um, thanks to a special request, Bags Unfiltered uh, is ordering from me now and um, doing some stuff with them. So I'm excited about this venture. Um, so those bags were special for him, but it turns out everybody loves them. So uh, we'll be doing a lot more in that size bag. So that's the way that that works. So we're also experimenting with some new candy in some different ways. We have um, sour fruit chews in here. Uh, we've got some Starburst here. We've got sour Skittles and different types of Skittles. And then, holy moly, a ton of Skittles. And, oh, we, I, I sell out of Skittles pretty darn fast. So it's exciting. Now, today I've got a product coming. Uh, it's going to make it less expensive to do sour candy. I have been holding off doing sour candy, to be honest with you guys, just because I think it's ridiculously expensive. And I don't want to pass that cost on to you. So basically, the exciting part is I'm experimenting with some different candies, figuring out more of the requests for sour candies, figuring out how to get those candies that they say can't be done in the freeze dryer done. I'm figuring it out. And so it's just trial and error, trial and error. And um, doing a pretty good job. I actually did uh, Milk Duds and I've done Peeps and uh, Birthday Cake stuff, stuff Marshmallows. Oh man, I mean, we've we've really been going. Um, my favorite part is to find the specialty candies that are seasonal and only come out once in a while. And then I get those in the freezer and then I have them all the time. So uh, makes that super, super nice. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, just a little tour of what the candy shop looks like every once in a while, my candy kitchen. And so um, this is why it's important. We gotta get that processing kitchen done and all of that. Uh, we're actually looking at a second freeze dryer so that um, we can get all that. Just a matter of getting candy sold, getting fun saved up and getting that ordered. Um, but we need a second machine for sure. So anyway, guys, all right. Until next time, freeze dry your hearts out and go live a life done free. Thanks, Milo.